it's Sarah and it's time to make some ATCs. This is my package from Lisa at your ATC store for the month of December and I want to see what's in here. Look how nicely it's wrapped. It's like a Christmas present. Woohoo! All right. Let's see. House shape. So this is the December kit. The kit of the month. This is worth free with any December order. Okay, so when you make place your order, you will get this December kit. This was the November ATC kit of the month, and it's now available for purchase. And then she just sent me a lot of cute little embellishments. Ooh, this looks leather. Leather flowers. Steampunk. Rub offs. Mini books. Wow, I have to look at that. And inner pages for the mini books. And then, love these, Lisa. Laugh, cheers, hooray, congrats, celebrate, and well done. And they're just um, flat back, so I love that. But let me look at this December kit. Oh, man. I see, like, three charms already. I have paint on my fingers. I've been making... These are going to be little snowmen ornaments. All right, let's see. I could have washed my hands, I guess, but we're just going to get messy anyway. This is a messy business. Ooh, okay. So I think she just sent me two of the same one, and that's awesome because then I can make several. So let's see what we get in here. Green tinsel wire. I can zoom in a little bit. A little bit. I don't want to go too far. Green tinsel like on a wire. A Santa charm and a reindeer charm. So cute. Um, some more green tinsel trim. OMG, pine tree trim. This is trim, it's like felt. Merry Christmas, which is actually a, um, this little red tree, these are sequins. Look at this trim, so cute. Here's the images, we have Merry Christmas, beautiful, and a beautiful Santa. Look at these papers. This one's embossed, red, a plaid, a snowy, like glittery trim paper. That's paper. Green, solid green. Now this is, I did one of these um, in a from a previous Christmas, I'm pretty sure. And it was so cute. This is just a house template. So if I wanted to put a little how oh there's the sleeve always always a sleeve if I wanted to use that as a template to create a little house and then put Santa in the doorway and Merry Christmas it's amazing alright so I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna um, get myself ready get my glue and all that and I'll be right back and we'll create this little ATC okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is cut out this template just there are directions on there, so don't. It just says cut on the solid lines, and that will create a little house shape. And I'm gonna um, probably let me think. I I could make that uh, chimney a different color the roof a different color. You don't have to make the whole house. Now, we want to leave one of the sides, obviously, of the door so that we can score it. So you just want to cut the solid part. So this is a little template for us to make the house. So I'm just going to use, let me think. I think I might do the house with, let's see, 
the music paper might be cute because then I could use the green for the roof, this for the background, and then some trims and stuff like for around the door. We could make windows, you could do whatever, but then I have these trees. So the house, yeah, I kind of want that to show up. So let me think. Now, an ATC is always two and a half by three and a half. So don't forget that. You're only working with, so this green one is actually two and a half by three and a half. So that could be my background. The house could probably be, this is the only thing, the only problem you'll have, guys, is deciding which of the gorgeous papers to use. Um, I really, really like this music paper. I think I'm going to go ahead and make the house with the music paper. I'm going to make the roof and uh, maybe the door with this. And I'll just put a piece of paper on top of the door. Okay, so I'm going to do that. So this will be my background. I'm going to lay the template on top of my music paper and just make a line with a pencil uh, for, let me think, do I want to do a different color? I'm just grabbing my pencil. A different color for the roof. I think that would be cool. Oops, I went out of line a little. And definitely the chimney. So for right now, I, I can always just put glue the paper on top. That's what I think I'll do. All right, so let's go ahead and... I mean, I could cut the chimney off, but I think I'm, what I'm going to do is just cover the chimney with the red paper. One of the red papers that uh, the plaid could look super cute too. So, like I said, the only the only choices you have are which of the super cute papers to use. So let me put a door as well. Let me just score this. I'm going to just use my um, burnisher here. Just kind of... That kind of will give it a little score line. Fold line. And I'm just going to draw and make a door. And like I said, I think I'm going to glue a different piece of paper. If I do the roof with this paper and the door with this paper, that could look cute. And then I think I'll use, like, maybe the plaid would look cute if it's wide enough. It's not wide enough. I think I'll use this for the chimney. This is the background, so this is going to go here. Santa, I'm going to fussy cut out. And look, you, you get um, this main sign, right? So it has this red frame around it. There's actually like two red frames. If you look closely, there's a really skinny, thin red frame directly around the words. And then there's another one. So if you wanted to cut it out and really not use, you know, you, you have options. You don't have to use the biggest section, um, but... I do want to use, and this is double-sided. Everything's double-sided, so you have, what was on the other side of this? I'm just going to use this. I really, really like the idea of doing, uh, I'm going to use the template again, right here, for the door. I just want it to be straight, really. And I think I'll make a line there, but I need it to be a little, eh, I think it should be fine. So this will go, you know why I do it like this? Because I hate to waste any of these, it's kind of like a, a challenge for me to actually use every bit of the supplies that she's, so 
So see, that's the door. Now look, nothing's in stone yet. We can just play, right? You know me. I'm going to cut Santa out and he's going to, now he doesn't have to be in the door, but I really like that idea of like when you open the door, it's a surprise, but he could be, you know, somewhere else. All right, let me do the chimney. I want to just take this template and I just line it up right on the edge of the paper and put a little, hmm. I'm going to have to uh, mark where, I don't know if I can see that. So I'm just going to go from here to there. I'll just cover the um, chimney. Matthew's in the basement working out and he's listening to Eminem, so it's... I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that looks pretty cute. For some reason, you know, to me, a chimney's red. That's old school because you don't have to do that anymore. And then I do think I want to make the roof um, this color too, so the door and the roof. Now, that's again, not set in stone. I don't have to do it. Um, I probably, no. Yeah, I could probably use that piece of paper. I'm going to just go like this. So I'm going to line this up. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay, good. I know I'm not really zoomed in. I, You know me. I don't like to zoom because I forget that I'm zoomed. And I'll come out because I get so caught up in the process here. Which is heaven for me. It's so amazing and calming and so I forgive me but I you know I get very happy all right so I'm going to cut a little roof out with the same paper as the door see what that looks like I have a little paper showing on the but I think we're good because I like that. It's just not, you know, it's not a simple little house. I have something going on. Then this is going to be the background. And don't forget all these trims still, guys. We have, this says snow to me. I don't know, but I kind of like it here. Um, this is my template. I still have these trees, which I have to put on here. I can cut them apart, so I think I'll put one on each side. I have the Santa, the Merry Christmas, but I also have the sign. You don't have to use everything. There's a Santa charm, which I might not use, because I do want to put Santa inside, and I'll just use, I think I'm going to put my reindeer at the top. Then we have this to represent grass. We also have this, which is super cute. I think that's going to go at the top of the chimney for sure. I'm not sure what this is intended for, Lisa. Just grass, I guess. Um, all right, I think I need to start gluing. And because it's layered, I can... You know what? You can always... Um, Use your Tim Holtz uh, distress inks as well. I want to score this so that I, um, I'm going to get a ruler. I could just put it in my scoreboard, but I'm lazy and I don't feel like finding it. But I'm going to score this just with this spray or whatever this thing is called, burnisher. Make sure it opens. And look, there's Santa inside, too. I'm going to cover the door with this paper. I'm going to, first I'm going to glue the house onto 
You can hear Matt singing. How does he know the words to rap? There's so many words. All right, let me get my favorite paper adhesive. This is the old school Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. And I'm going to put it on, not on the door, but on, hello, it's open, right? It's, it's automatically open. I just haven't used it in a long time, so I need to get a little hole going there. And out it comes because it's perfect like that. So I'm going to go all over the back of this, just not on the door. So stay away from the door because you want it to stick and stay pretty good. I like to use my little tweezer bee tweezers, whatever these are called. Cutter bee, cutter bee tweezers, I don't know what they're called. And I'm going to go right up against the bottom because this is cut to the two and a half by three and a half inch size. Give it some pressure. And if any glue oozes out, I like to clean it up. Um, if the paper actually sticks up over the edge, I will trim that as well. Because I am, you know, actually it's a tiny smidge. The little, um, and that just has to do with my cutting when I first cut the template. So I'm just going to trim it. Then I'm going to put the door on. Let me make sure this fits. Yep, put a little glue on that. This is so, this glue just comes right down to the bottom. It's my fave, my all time fave. And I'm just gonna use the hinged area as my guide because I don't want to um, make the door not be able to open. But that actually gives it a little more stability too. Cute. I could have, maybe should have before I glued, just FYI, I could have cut him out first and put him behind there, but I'll just cut off what other, other like what little part who knows? I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. I want to put the roof on. I don't know where he'll end up. He's got his bag of toys though. So cute. Just going to line it up like that. And then this little chimney I don't like to put it too gloppy because that way it won't um, get out come whatever I'm trying to say it won't make a mess like that I'm gonna cover that so don't worry about it. I'm going to take this little cute little trim right here. I kind of want to put this more places. Um, but definitely up here. So I'm going to cut. Let me measure. Like right here. James. <coughs> James. Hey, James. Making a video. That's my son, James. The dogs love it when we come home. It's so exciting for them. Hey, Jamer. Hey. Making a video. Oh, hello, video. Hello. <laughs> they missed you, James. Ugh, oh, a little crooked. Dang it. I hate when stuff is crooked. I may have to add more glue because, no, I think we're good. All right. Now, where is this little Merry Christmas going to go? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to cut these apart. Yeah. 
and I'm going to put one over here, I think, and one over here. I don't know if I'm going to, oh, but I have this little red one. Come on. Now it's blending. It's pulling the red from over there. I kind of like it. We still have this trim, but I really want to use this. And I like that it goes on top of the roof. Yes, this is going here. So this has to be, this is going to be with my Fabri-Tac, my favorite glue for gluing um, fabrics. And it's goopy like this, but I love it. That's just what was kind of left. Um, she's been really good today, James. Oh, good. Yeah, giving him a report on his doggy. I'm going to just put this right on the eave of the roof. Literally, like on the red part. And that should be plenty. I want to keep this upside down because this does not um, cooperate when it comes to... Oops just picking it up and going with it. You have to shake it down for a while. And I just put it like that and I'll cut off the edges. That's adorable. I love that it's like up on the um, roof too. And it's just adding texture. And you know what? I could actually put a little bit of this red under there to get it to show. Let, let me see this. I don't need it at all, but I'm just being me and seeing if it needs it. The door is kind of in the way, actually. Definitely doesn't need it, and it and it like um, blocks it. So let me cut that off. Uh-oh, I lost a tassel on that side. That's okay. I'll have to make it even and cut this little tassel off. All right. Um, I still really, I have a lot of that. Where was it now? This one. I kind of like the idea of this kind of being on the top of the roof, too, to represent snow. Um, I should have probably done that first before, but I think I can stick the fabric, um, stick it under the fabric. I'm not positive. Maybe I'll just do it on top of the door. I love that idea. All right, so let me look for what I'm doing here. I kind of want to make these smaller. And I'm going to use this as grass, I think. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to cut. Well, first let me just glue it. I often add other supplies too. Don't be afraid to use what you have. If because I mean these are your ATCs. Just because there's a kit that has, you know, the same stuff, you can add your own little bits and bobs to it. I personally think Lisa must have one incredible stash. She has the most cute little trims and all types of things the charms alone I don't I don't know where the heck they come from so see I just put them where I wanted them and then I will cut in a minute so let's put this kind of overlapping here I'm going to use my little tweezers could just put it right on top. 
half and half like a button anything you have like this Merry Christmas really might just want to go up here and then this one we don't have to use but it, it definitely could be used um, hmm. you don't you don't really need both you know so you don't have to use it it's an option all right let me cut this again I'm gonna use my bigger scissors and I just use the paper as my guide and just go right up up against the paper and you'll just trim those little trees so that they fit perfectly so we're getting there we only need to yeah I'm really really tempted to do something more with this because it is so cute it could be snow on the ground that's what I'm doing, so I should have moved that up a tiny, just a tiny. All right, they'll be fine. All right, so this, because grass, we don't need grass. You know what I'll do? I'll just trim out the the door or something. All right, hold on. I'm gonna do. I like this idea to kind of put that along the bottom. Um, I could just use this. It's, you know what, it's an ATC. I think I want my little reindeer to go. He is jumping. Maybe he'll go on the door. That's adorable. Um, I think that might happen. We can't forget about our Santa. All right, I think I'm gonna do, oops, this because it's super duper cute. Kind of, I mean, obviously, if there's snow on the roof, there would be snow on the ground. Oh, no. I put this the right way. Oh, I still have glue. All right. Always try to push it towards the edge because I can always cut off but I don't want to stop the door from opening and then I'm just gonna put this right here hopefully I'm in the shot you guys plenty of that and then stick it right down That's adorable. Really makes me want to use. I have snow tech, yeah, but that's going to be too. Um, I guess I could put it on the door too. I should probably put a little piece on the door. I'm going to do that. can just use the fab I mean the um paper glue for that um it seems like a lot of glue oh, I don't think that was the right size I think that was the scrap let me see. Yeah, this is the one. It's almost Christmas. Anywho, um, Maya, my granddaughter, is in Mexico. They went on vacay. So she's in the balmy 80s, probably. <laughs> it's not bad here today. It's about like... 44. Put that there. Look how cute. I could have um, used my distress inks just so that the, the fabric would pop a little more. I think I am going to put my little reindeer and I have this little, uh, it's an all of sorts. 
what could I put under there? I'm just going to put this piece of cardboard under here because I'm going to press this and just make a hole for the brad that Lisa puts in there, a little green brad. Isn't that adorable? So cute. Again, I don't know where she gets these teensy little brads that fit, but OMG. All right, now I have to either this one, which ties in the brad, which I love, or the sign, which I love as well, and I might just put them both. That looks good. I like it. And then these little tinsels. I think I might put these around the door. They could actually go, no, I think I'm going to put these around the door, but first I need to fussy cut out my Santa. He's kind of big. I hope he fits in there. And again, I should have thought of this and put him in the door before I glued because I could have just glued the house right on top of whatever um, part of him stuck out type thing, you know? I just love him. He's adorable. The images that she gets, always super cute. Like, of utmost cuteness. So, this is so cute. I'll have to come back and do, um, the November one, too. Because, uh, I need inspiration. I'm behind in my art journaling pages. I need, I know what I'm doing for October. Then I need November, December. And I think I'm just going to do a tree like one of my little um, popsicle stick trees for an art journal page. So that'll be so easy to do. But for November, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Last year I did a turkey. Does he fit? Come on, that's adorable. He could be peeking out. But I think I'm just going to put him in there. Like, he fits. This, this. I could pop this up. Got to go get my pop-up tape sticker, whatever it's called. Your 3M uh, dimensional, right? This is dimensional. And do I want to make it a little smaller? Jeez, you guys. I like the frame. See, because if I, I think I'm going to keep it with the frame. And just cut that. And this is too big. A little bit. Hi, Jenny. Is your daddy home? Is your daddy home? She still loves me more. Because I'm home all the time. I'm going to use this fabric tack. Although I'll bet you the um, Kirby, don't whine. She's the biggest. Uh oh. Kirby, go around. I have two doors in my craft room, so they came in one door. The other door is closed, and of course, she wants to go out that door. Are you kidding me, Missy? She got groomed yesterday. She looks so cute. Are you kidding? You go around, miss. Little nut case. All right. Uh, right there. Right there. Merry Christmas, Missy. Okay. Now, I could do these. I got to glue him in. I think he fits. He fits perfect. He fits perfect. I I think I cut off the base a tiny bit, like under his feet there was like a little pedestal looking thing. Um, I might have cut that, I forget, but other than that, he fits perfect. So I am just putting him right in there. OMG! <gasps> Perfection! Look at that. Are you kidding? That is amazeballs. 
All right, but I still really want to use this. I don't know, maybe just where, where should I use it? On like, I got to use it. I think it's definitely going here. She has to go out. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I had to let my doggie out, but I went and found, I found the other one that I did and it doesn't have a date. I need to do better with that. But this was the other one and I did do it similarly. See, I knew, but I, I just did a roof color. Home for the holidays. I'll bet you I put these little blings on the tree. I'll bet you they were mine. But I, I know Lisa puts all this stuff in. Look, see, it's a different Santa. And I used like a more funky paper for the background. So, I don't know. You gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. Look, I could have used this funky paper for the background and then the green for the roof. But I didn't. I did it different. So yeah, and then look, I put the little piece of trim she gave, a little trim there, and I put it for the top of the, and just around the door. So let me see if I want to put this here and around the door. I think that's what I'm going to do. Put the little uh, tinsely, just, it's so freaking holiday-ish. Uh-oh, my, the one problem is this was not upside down, so I could take a minute. But yeah, I think... I am good. I love it. Girls, my dogs are here. I love Jenny now. You know that? She's my son's dog, and he's been staying here since probably like August. My youngest, James. He has a standard poodle, and she's only ever lived with him alone in an apartment. And I think we've taught her so many good things like barking. She's not quite a beggar yet. <laughs> But she's so sweet. All she wants to do is play. Oh, Kirby is chewing something. Unbelievable. My little dog is only... Kirby, seriously, what do you have? Oh. You know what she loves to chew? Toothpicks. She's so weird. She's 10 pounds, 11 pounds. Jenny's like 40 pounds. So... I think Jenny thinks Kirby's a toy, but look what that just did. It just blinged it right out. I don't know if it needs it around the, um, see, what was this for? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know, Lisa. I know you had something in mind. I don't know what it is. All right, but I kind of want to put this around the door too. I think it just might need it. I mean, you know, I don't like wasting any of these little supplies. So that's what I do. I, I gotta do it. So cute. I think I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Uh-oh. It gets a little stringy. But I prefer these adhesives to a hot glue gun. That's just me. I don't like hot glue guns. I burn myself and I also feel like it doesn't hold. It's not, it's a very weird adhesive. Um, gotta make sure I'm being able to open the door. Anywho, I, I don't know, I, used to make wreaths and stuff like back when I first, this is years ago, before YouTube existed. Um, different things like that maybe you could do it with or I don't know. But I'd much prefer using a wet glue. Oh, she's got something. I'm going to kill this dog. No, I'm not. I would never kill my dog. She's my best friend. She's my bestie. Kirby, what are you eating? So, um, anywho, it probably would help if I'd have done it in order of layers. You know what I mean? Like, so that you don't have this issue of 
holding up your tinsel or your, your tassel, which, you know, you might not be able to see that above the door, but I have to put it. It won't look right if I just have it. Oh, wow, perfect. Perfection. But, yeah, like you could have done it in a specific order to make it easier to glue. So that's why it's helpful when you see me do it. Because I just dive right in. This is unrehearsed. Can you tell? <laughs> I, 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 I. I like to do it in real time, kids. So you see the process, you know? It helps sometimes to kind of understand the process. I like that. I like knowing why or what or... And actually mistakes are part of the process as well because, you know, you don't... Everything doesn't work the first time. I don't know where it went, but I think I cut it. Oh, come on. That's so cute. And then I generally will connect it to like a little piece of um, file folder or something just to keep it sturdy. And then you should um, sign it, date it. And I am going to take a little distress ink. I have it here somewhere. This is uh, probably got vintage photo. I just want to um, distress ink this edge a little. Just gives it a little more of a finished effect. Boy, it must be dinner time because my animals, everybody's going crazy. And, you know, it's kind of the way it is when you have kids. My animals are my kids right now. They're like, see, she's calling me Kiwi. I went out to, I generally um, hose her cage off. And I went out and I turned on the water and it was frozen. Matt thought it would be frozen, but it was frozen. See, that looks a little better. I just think it looks more finished. But look how cute, you guys. And I see Santa inside and the reindeer and everything. It's so cute. And then don't forget, I'm going to put the lid on this. You get a sleeve. I still have an extra Santa charm. I mean, he could have been up on the roof or something. You know? All right, wait, the sleeve. So you get a sleeve, put it in, and store it in. So now I have two. So cute. All right, Lisa. Sorry I forgot. I was busy making ornaments. My package was sitting there so patiently. So you guys, I'll put the link in the description box for you to go over to your ATC store and see what she's got. All right? That's it. Thanks for watching.